Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am here to share with you guys um, a little project share and then I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up from the Craft Fancy sale that is supposed to start tomorrow, um, which is Monday, uh, September 18th, I believe. Yeah, September 18th. Um, but I ran up in there today to find some um, ink pads that I was looking for and they actually started the sale early and they allowed us to shop around while people were still bringing their things in. Um, if you guys don't know, um, Craft Fancy is a store in Arlington Heights. It's a craft store and they have um, garage sales there where they allow people to come in and sell their goodies. But anyway, um, let me share with you guys real quick um, my um, card share first. Um, this is a card that I created. It's a shaker card and um, I love the way it came out. It's super pretty to me. Um, so this um, acetate that's on the front of here is actually a stamp that I picked up from um, Hobby Lobby which is this stamp right here. It's a stampability stamp and it was $3.49 regular price but I got it for um, half off. And so I picked that stamp up a couple weeks back and I wanted to um, do a project with it. And so um, I found this acetate at the Goodwill um, which you can see on my haul one video back and it said that it was good for copiers so I knew that it was good for also heat embossing because how, um, copiers get kind of hot when you run stuff through them. But anyway, um, it worked perfectly. Um, the only thing that I had to do was I had to create um, a little homemade um, powder tool because I cannot find my powder tool. So this is my little homemade powder tool. It's a, um antique uh, or vintage maybe um, handkerchief that I found at the thrift store a while back. And um, I just put some baby powder in inside of it and I just tied some twine around it so that I can untie it and put more baby powder in there as I need it. So that is um, what I used. And all I had to do was just put the powder all over the front and then um, stamp with some sticky ink. I can't remember if it's Versamark or the, gener the more generic kind. And then I just used um, the stamp to stamp on there and then I poured my gold embossing powder on there. I thought it came out super cute. And then I made a little shaker out of it. This is a Gina Marie die, um, this little shaker frame. And then um, I just cut the background to um, be a little bit bigger than um, the, the frame so that you can see like a little bit of gold sticking out. And then I just cut these mats and this is a five by seven inch um, card. And so um, I do have the inside part of the front here and I didn't glue it in yet because I wanna stamp it first. I wanna make sure that I stamp correctly before I glue it inside the, um, the card. And um, the teal, or not teal, but tool bow, this bow that I have on there, it's just a tool roll from Hobby Lobby that has, um, it's pink and it has glitter in it. It's super pretty. And it's a little bit stiffer than regular tool, which I really like. And you can make some really cute bows out of it. So that is my little project share. I love how that came out. And then I wanted to share with you guys um, my little haul. So like I said, I went to the store and they were having their sale early. So I was able to pick up a few goodies while my husband was actually sleep in the car so that was a great thing this was right after church so I picked up this um, stamp and I think I wanted this stamp last year and I didn't find it and I tried to find it on eBay and I think it was really expensive um, this one was um, two dollars so I went on and picked that up and I also found this stamp I thought this was pretty cute and it's just a little calendar stamp that you can stamp out your own calendars and I really like the, the kind of country look that this has. So I picked that up. And that one was $2.50. I also picked this up. And this is uh, Botanicals for You by Stampin' Up. And it was $2. And it has all of these um, little sayings on here. And I really liked it for this right here. I thought that would look really cute. Heat embossed. So that was 2 bucks. Um, I think that is it for my stamps. Um, then I will share with you guys um, the dies that I picked up. So I found this little set of um, pumpkin, a pumpkin and a leaf. Um, it looks like a little tag. 
and this was only one dollar um, I found this little bow die and it was one dollar and that's the way it looks right there I also found this bow die I was really excited to find this by Taylor Expressions and it is a tiny bow as you can see right there but it was only a dollar and fifty cent I picked up these buttons and there are four in the pack well there's one die but it cuts out four different buttons and this was two dollars I also found these which I was super excited to have found um, these were five dollars each and this is the lowercase and this is the uppercase and this is called Parker uppercase and Parker lowercase alphabet and this is the actual size of the alphabet right here it's really nice size alphabet and they were five dollars each and this is what that one looks like and the other one is inside the pack I won't take it out but it's a really large alphabet and one is uppercase one is lowercase and it says that these were regular $48 each guys oh my gosh I couldn't even imagine paying a hundred dollars for um, two dies but you know we do what we do so that is that and then I was able to pick up some um, embellishments I found these little envelopes by pebbles they are super cute and there's 12 of them in there and this was a dollar and this is the way that they look here so pretty I thought those were so cute so I picked up those I also picked up this by dear Lizzie really cute I love this little camper really really cute um, this by Maggie Holmes that was a dollar as well this one by Maggie Holmes is so like little adhesive um, do they call them oh badges they call them badges and this is what they look like and this was a dollar I also found this washi tape booklet and this was also one dollar um, this freckle fawn paper clips and I love the little hearts and this was again one dollar and then I also picked up these bowls of course so I can make some paper clips out of them and this was also one dollar so I found those Oh, and then this one, um, the little buttons, so cute. And this was a dollar as well. Then I did find um, some paper pads I thought were really cute. I found this one, Authentique. Um, I actually found this in a 12 by 12 last year um, at one of the sales that I go to. And I'll just do a, a really quick flip through. And I love that they are double sided and um, there's some cut aparts in here really really cute um, so yeah guys when I went to the store I had to like rush through and just kind of grab what I could because like I said my husband was out sleep in the car because he had worked overnight and um, he hadn't gotten much sleep before we had to go to church so I told him I said I just need to run into the store really quick and get this ink pad that I need and the girl was like you know they're having a sale back there I had left my phone in the car and I I just ran back there and tried to pick up what I could and I was like shoot I hope he doesn't come in and say what the heck he no he's not like that but I just I, I was like I kind of felt bad after a while because I was in there for you know a little bit of time trying to find and pick through stuff and he was out in the car sleep and but my phone was outside in the car, so I couldn't call him and tell him that I was like looking around. Um, I also found this double dutch um, um, six by six pad, and it was also a dollar fifty. And I really like this because of the gingham. I thought the gingham was really, really pretty. And then they have some other cute patterns in here as well. And for a dollar fifty, that wasn't bad at all. So I picked up that. And then this one was super pretty, Fifth Avenue. And this is Melissa Francis. And it was only a dollar and fifty cent, guys. I was really excited to find this as well. And there were a lot of ladies there too, and they were kind of grabbing stuff, and it was just crazy. But I do plan on going back on Wednesday. Um, I have a friend that I need to shop for on Wednesday, and they have their half off on Wednesday. So I'm gonna go and see what they have and they normally have a really good selection even on the half off day um so i also found this i was really excited to find find this too this is cream and sugar this was also a dollar fifty cent and this is a, actually a brand new um pad no pages taken out of here because i actually counted the pages 
and all of them are accounted for super cute and I wanted this pad too. look at this so pretty so cute and then it's that one super duper cute so I picked up that those were $1.50 um, I also found this. I was really excited to find this. This is the 50s Diner um, Faber-Castell um, Gelatos, and this was $3. Let's see. Move over some stuff. And then I found this um, Tombow Dot Adhesive um, Refills, and they were $2 for this one. Sorry about that glare. that glare a little bit for you maybe I'll just take these out and put them over there and then um, I did find this embossing powder and it's three of them in the pack and it was a dollar I mainly got it for this one on this bag um, but this is black and this is called uh, what is it called stardust stardust transparent and then this is a green and then this bag, um, I actually got this one for this one, which is crystal transparent. And then it's a blue, and this is like a really, I think this is a really dark. Either it's a, a blue or this is green. I'm not sure. But both of these bags were a dollar. So that wasn't bad. And I was really excited to find these because I just bought an ink blending tool. And I have some of these, but I only have the small ones. I never had the big ones. So I found these, and look, guys, they were only $1. $1. I couldn't believe it. And the reason why I couldn't believe it is because it's a double pack. Each one of these are double packs. So I got the Spice Marmalade and the Chip Sapphire. I got the Faded Jeans and the Antique Linen. I got the Spun Sugar and the Faded Jeans. So I have two faded jeans, so I'm going to probably gift one of those. And I know I got two of the spun sugar as well. So I have two spun sugar, so I'll be gifting one of those. I have the broken china, um, the mustard seed, and the brush corduroy. And the tea dye and the forest moss. And I got one more. The, oh, so I got another forest moss too. And I have the tattered, I don't know, tattered something it says underneath here. I can't really read it. Let's see. Uh oh. Tattered rolls. It's tearing, it's tearing the, um, it's tearing the, the name off. So I'm gonna just kind of cut the tape. But um, yeah, so that wasn't a bad deal at all, even though I have some doubles, but that's okay because um, they were only a dollar, you know, and you get all of those for a dollar each. So. And then I also picked up some other inks, and I know I do have one double in this, I believe, too. So I have the Stays On and the Blazing Red with the Stays On and the Jet Black, and those were a dollar. Um, olive Green and then the Midnight Blue, the Rich Cocoa, and the Tuxedo Black, and the Memento. And then in the Memento, I have the Cantaloupe and the Tuxedo Black. And then in the Stay Zone, I have the Fuchsia Pink and the Jet Black. So that wasn't bad at all. All of those were $1, and I believe that was just one seller that had all of those. And I also got this one, which is the Cotton White with the Refill. And I got this um, uh, craft scrubber as well. So that is it. That is my haul from Craft Fancy. I was super excited to have found all of these goodies. I cannot wait to go back on Wednesday when they have the half off sale because the prices are even better. Because everything that you saw here, if it's there on Wednesday, it'll be half off. And I plan on getting there super duper early when the doors open so that I can find some great deals. But that is about it, guys. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.